Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome back to our video show. Welcome back in our warehouse. Last week we showed you the arriving condition of the bulbs, the quality checking, the washing, and today we will show you the, the drying of the bulbs and the packing, the peat moss, and the preparing of the export shipments. So this is the second part of the, the lily processing. The lily harvesting is still continuing. Last week we explained to you, or the two weeks ago, what, how difficult the circumstances is. And unfortunately, it is still very difficult. The sun is shining a little bit every now and then, but still we have a lot of rainfall. October was a record rainfall, November, and even in December, it's continuing. This weekend, we had again about 20 millimeters. We had some snow in the meantime, so the harvesting is really very difficult. The growers, they have to select the fields which can be used for harvesting. They have to do the drainage. They use different machines, different ways. So it's a hard condition. But still, we receive many bulbs and also very nice bulbs. Here you see Lake Kerry, 2022. Now this looks really perfect. Top-sized bulbs, mostly used for Hanoi, for Vietnam. Good quality, good roots, nice bulbs. So, although it's very difficult, it doesn't mean that uh, there are all the problems. There are also many here, you see Siberia 1820, popular for Japan, for China. Also nice bulbs, nice roots, no damage. So we are happy with our growers that even in these most difficult circumstances, they work day and night to, to give us, to supply us with the nice quality bulbs. Here we have Caesar's Palace. This is an LA. And what we explained last time, the, the crop results of the LA, 50%, 16 up for Litauen, for Nashville. And now we see more or less a similar picture also with the OT and Oriental, that also for these bulbs, the crop results, the enlargement is much less than we expected and than we wished. So there is a, a shortage on the market, a shortage in our uh, the deliveries, which we have to control. Here we have Ticento, the OT. This is 1820. Nice bulbs, nice quality. Here you see some new items, the double ones. Chardonnay. Beautiful white variety, one of the top varieties uh, in the demand now for the future. And we have Blizzard. When we showed them last time in our social media, this, the next day we got the inquiry. And of course, and we were happy that we could make some offers still, but this availability is very limited and it's mostly for the future. But they, Blizzard is the first double OT, a white one. It's very promising big flowers so this is really uh, interesting uh, to show and to have now we continue to our packing hello here we are at our new bunker for the uh, peat moss we receive it from uh, from van egmond full trucks and this is much more efficient and much more stable quality compared before. So we have the nice wetness of the of the peak. We have less trucks coming in and out, so it's also sustainable. It's efficient for our staff. With the running belts, it will go into our warehouse. We will show you later. And here we see uh, we are in the sunshine. We are in the in the rainfall. It's a little bit. Uh, over there you can even see the rainbow. Dirk Jan, look you. <laughs> the rainbow in the sky. Two rainbows even. Uh, this is typical the Dutch weather in this season. And unfortunately we have terrible much rainfall. Started in October, November, and even now in December it continues. So we are very happy with a little bit sunshine. Okay, here, here we are at the lily packing. Yuri and Oleg are working very hard for our company. 
from the Ukraine for several years already. Here we are packing the Lake Kerry. It is size 2022. Big bulbs, nice quality, nice roots, healthy bulbs, no damage. The sprout is this is normal. This is not the inside sprout. Uh, the crop this year, yeah, it's very complicated. Basically, the growing is very poor, as I explained last time also. So the number of 20 plus Lake Carry Oriental is limited. But this looks good. And also the quality looks very nice. Here you can see all the belt on the belt. This is before packing. And then slowly the bulbs move into the, the disinfection with the medicines to protect the bulbs for the future development of penicillium and scale rot. To prevent them for the good uh, storage, for the longer storage, because many of these lake carries, they will be used for the TED Festival in 2025. So that is after one year and three months. And then they will be flowering. So it's very long-term storage. So the empty boxes go directly to the bag machine and then we put the bag in it automatically. And after the bags are in, with there are the holes inside the bag. So that is all to protect the good quality. And then we put in on the, the bottom part, we put the first part of uh, peat moss. So that the bulbs go nicely in it. So the peat moss is in it, in the bottom. Then the bulbs come, they come out of the disinfection. And then they are mixed gradually with the peat moss. So that is the second step. The peat moss is immediately mixed with the bulbs. That goes very carefully, very equally. And then the bulbs come into the box. Then we have a kind of shaking machine. But as the bulbs are already mixed with the peat, the shaking is uh, less strong and less important because they are mixed already. Then after that, the box moves forward and then the remaining part is covered by the peat moss and we uh, try to control it well that the bulbs have enough peat moss and here you can also see that the peat moss is very carefully perfectly uh, prepared nice moisture no water is coming out but i can make a nice ball of it and for us this is the perfect humidity of the peat moss so that's how we like to control it. And after that, Marta, she takes care about the exact handling of the bulbs, of the box, each box, that the peat moss is equally, and that they are carefully prepared. So she makes the cover, so we don't have the, the sealing machine. We still think the bulb is a very expensive product, so it needs to have some hand touch attention and then here we put the, the plastic carefully inside and on the top we put the covers with our Jan Rit loader. When the bulbs are packed, they arrive at the end in the piling machine, piling the pallets. Here is also a labeling unit. Here is a tablet. And this is all real time registered so we know exactly which boxes are packed by which line, on which moment, which quantity. So we have the complete real-time control and administration. After carefully packing the bulbs, we store them in our cool rooms. Here you see one of them. They are uh, stored exactly in the line, within the blue marks. And the location is registered by the barcode system, by the uh, digital scanners we have the we have the own warehouse app I can check on my mobile using the scanner 
and then I can exactly see the name of the variety, the grower, the quantity, the packing date, all the details, all the characteristics are informed. And that's all online, real time, so if they store them, it is scanned, if they take them out, it's scanned, it's always exactly known. And therefore our customers can also see on their client portal the, the situation of their stock, what is ready for shipment, what is not yet ready for shipment, and prepare their shipments. Here we have Kadango, Dianta, the double ones. We have Siberia, Manissa. All the varieties, Lake Carry, are stored in this cool room. And now it's still a, a plus one degree. So first we keep them, basically the lilies need a six week cooling period of two degrees. But of course they are now in the box, there the temperature is a little bit higher, so we store them at one degree and later we will go down with the temperature to minus one degree. Here you can check the inside, the exact uh, way, how sharp we store them, that you can see all the lines are exactly in one row and we put the space between because minus one, and yeah, now it's plus one, and later it's minus one, minus 1 1.5 is a very delicate temperature. If it's minus two or minus three, then we get the frost damage. And if it's zero or plus one, it's, uh, the, the sprouting can develop. So therefore we exactly pack the, store the, the pellets with space in between. We have some ventilation so that the, uh, the, the temperature is exactly in all the cool room. We have also uh, developed, uh, invested in the new cooling system. We changed from, uh, from the freon in the ammoniac. That's also for the sustainability. This is an environment friendly cooling, but also more efficient cooling. So also in this we make the steps for the future for the, for the uh, well-controlled and the responsible way of storing the bulbs for you. So besides storing the bulbs in our cool rooms, we also start to prepare the first shipments. So we take them out. Here we have the Manissa. This is for Taiwan. The first shipments we start already uh, yeah, from the beginning of December, a few weeks starting with the LA and now with the OT and the Orientals. Here we have Dalian. There you see the, the pellet without the labels. Here we have with the label. So we put the labels on it. We combine the pellets to make it exactly for, the, uh, for each order, each shipment, each container. The labels are made also with the printer, with the computer, with, with the laptop, with the tablet. So this is all also real-time, online, uh, direct in our computer system. So we can see exactly what percentage of a shipment has been prepared. And after packing, after uh, re-collecting the, 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 the pellets, we put them here in our cool room. And here you see uh, the shipment ready for Taiwan. We have Japan, we have Eastern Europe. We have different countries, we ship many to China, Mexico, the first containers, Vietnam are gone. So and that is how the bulbs arrive to our customers in the good way with the temperature control and in the good condition. Thank you very much. Uh, so this is uh, our next edition. Next week we will show you about the tulip processing because of course that's also a big item for us. And then we will show you our test greenhouse. Also with the tulips, we have the problems this autumn, not with the harvesting, but with the planting. We will explain you more and also about the market condition. So thanks for watching us and see you again soon. Goodbye.